Yeah, I think I've gotten extremely unlucky with the uh, the events this time. Summerfield? You're infertile. You have the relic, though. Um, let's bring you, Jeffrey. Perilous Core? Nope. We're going to give you Vitaliband. I think it's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, so we used to have six relics and now we have four. That's a bummer. Let's see. Let's bring, um, yeah, let's bring Spike Schloss and give you the extra item slot, I think, but this. I like how it defaults to having two Perilous Cores on my guys now. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay, Spike Schloss. Or should we bring another Caber Jack instead to have an additional chance to stun? That's probably better. Let's bring, uh, let's replace you. Now I think about it. Nicholas? He's not very great. Riley is dim witted. Christina is puny. Cynthia. They're not bad. Oh dear. Sophia is quick. Do we have anybody that's... We don't. Okay. I think Sophia, actually, then. No. Cynthia? Let's bring Cynthia. Cynthia's younger, and so she's a little bit more powerful, I think. And we want to put it down. And we want the white Saliband, I think. Actually, no, let's give her the sponge stone. I think on a shadow jack, it's probably okay. That's 17 life. That's a little dicey, but I think we can do it. And if she dies, then we might get a mad beef for relic, so that's okay. So yeah, we, we I think we want to bring some pretty young people in this battle, if possible. Mm. With the exception of DeVoe, because this is a new relic. That's fine, then, I think. Sponge Stone. Uh, Perilous Core. I don't think so, guy. Uh, I should bring up my Taliband. Actually, how much life do you have? 29. So if you switch to a Sponge Stone, what do you have? 16. That's a little dicey. Even with the extra armor. Uh, yeah, let's go by Taliband. You shouldn't be taking damage anyway. And then, um, Summerfield, you have the Vitaliband. Actually, what do you, how much? you have a crazy amount of HP. Sponge Stone, I think. That gives you 19. That's probably fine. Okay, there we go. So now we can level up three relics as well as, or a couple, at least a couple relics as well as maybe potentially get one for Cynthia. And base, and also, all these guys either ha are young or have the option to give us a pretty good relic. And so I think this is the way to go. Except except Josh Butterworth, who's just trouble all around. But we need we need an anchor for our team, I've decided. So. Hero messed up the landing there. Not a good sign. Quiet. Um, let's go ahead and sneak up our Shadow Jack. I think. Let's go ahead and just come up to the side. Actually, no. Let's let's, let's go. Uh, let's bring up. Let's bring Cynthia up into the front. She might be able to give us a better view of what's going on. Okay. And then we'll bring uh, Josh Butterworth in behind. Along, creeping along the wall. Okay, so you need to not move this turn, I think. You can't go anywhere. How is that a stealth position? That's really weird. I'm gonna go ahead and have Summerfield, uh, let's see. Here? Let's go, um... Let's go, like, here, maybe. 
I want to move him just a little bit closer, but not so close that these bulwarks will probably attack. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Oh no! Took damage. Yeah, I really like that Shadow Jack armor. It looks really cool. It has this sort of scales on it. Looks good. Uh oh, a Twitcher too, really? Okay. Um. Oh hey, this is kind of cool. We'll be able to use our sneak attack against uh, this bulwark. This might be good. Let's try it. Not a bad hit. Spread from the fridge. Okay, um, let's see. So now I think... Let me see here. I think the play is to try to knock these two guys into one another. No, I can't do that. Hmm. Although... This isn't a bad move, because if I can get this knockback... Um, then not only do I heal fully and stun this guy for a turn, but also now I can I move these two guys into a nice position to uh, get a flask right on this tile here. And so now, yeah, let's move uh, Summerfield up, and let's just see what our flask chance is. 80%? That's pretty good. Uh, let's try that. Okay, apparently it's not good enough. And then we'll try one more. Wow, okay. You are pretty bad. Let's see here. So now we need to move our... Um, let's move our hunter up. I guess I can do a knockback on this guy. I think it's probably better for me just to shoot him now. Yeah, there we go. And then finally, uh, I have this last hunter who's... You're not going to be able to hit anything, so... I guess just take a shot at the seed. Yeah. It's too bad. This turn might hurt. This guy's gonna shoot us a little bit, but I will take maybe 10 damage here. Five, okay. Whew. There you go, Alchemist. Okay, so let's go ahead and shift our Alchemist up. Good old Jeffrey Summerfield. And then we'll go ahead and do a, our Precision Flask. I think, um, I think right on this guy is fine, because then we get the one kill, as well as a ton of XP for our, our, um, our relic. And this guy's going to shell bulk up, which is fine, because now we should be able to stun him with our, um, our other caper jack here. Or not. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to send Mad Beefer down to try to take out this seed. Or not. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, so I think I can still I think I can still not do a knockback shot on this guy and stun him for a turn. Yeah, so he'll he'll be stunned. That's fine. We're doing well. And now um, again, sneak up my other hunter and then shoot the seed. Take a shot at the seed. You got a critical strike, but no killing below. Okay. Oh no! Not the deeps. Um, five to ten damage. Josh Butterworth, you're okay there. Let's have um. Hmm. I want to keep Cynthia Madbeefer available, so let's have Monica DeVoe take this shot and see if we can get this kill. Actually, let's move her up. And now, now we want to take, let's do an explosive shot. Is that higher? Doesn't matter, actually. Let's take a regular shot. And she missed again. What are you doing to me, Tina? That's kind of nice, because that way she gets the, yeah, the level 6 ability. That wasn't exactly what I wanted, but uh, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, let's give her the uh, blinding shot. Right. Um, so if possible, we want to give this kill to this guy, actually. 
28 damage. I'm going to move this guy out of the way because I don't trust those odds. Oh, there's another one. Okay. No fun allowed, pretty much. This is serious business. The gods of death. Okay. Uh, right. So it looks like we're going to have two more bulwarks on that side, which is okay. Um, I don't think they'll be able to hit me this turn. And so, yeah, actually him coming closer would be, would be really good. Oh, there's a twitcher too. Okay. Nothing we can't handle. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and stealth over to this far. Now we can get a good view on everybody else. And we'll stealth up to this far side here. So we've got another twitcher, a seed, and a uh, bulwark on the opposite uh, area. And then we'll move our, let's move our alchemist guy up here, our boom striker, and then our two hunters as well. And it must be sort of awkward being the one alchemist in this battle, because he's the only one that can, uh, he's the only one that can be seen normally, and so it's kind of awkward. Everyone's looking at this one alchemist running around. Oh, he can see, what, how did he do that? That was really weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we have a knockback shot here we could use. That's not too shabby. Uh, I don't know actually that we can knock him back into the wall, though. Thirty-five damage. Okay, so we've hurt him a little bit. We could still slice him for some, but let's instead... Uh, Let's put, peek out over here and just take a nice shot at this guy. This might kill him. Yeah, that's okay. I wanted to get it with my other character, but I think that, you know, it's not the end of the world either way, really. And now we're out of flasks, but, uh, let's see here, four? No, that's kind of overkill. I think, uh, just fall back. And then Shadow Jack up. Yeah, let's do that instead. And you can Shadow Jack to here. Mm, should I sneak attack him with Josh? No, I think let's not. Let's try to get the kill with Mad Beefer. This guy might take a shot at us. I'm not sure if he'll be able to. Yep. No! It's okay. We got this. Monica, what do you have? She does have the sponge down. Um, oh, excuse me. Hmm. That'll almost certainly kill him. That'll almost certainly do nothing. Whoops. What if we... Let's get Tina Varima up here and let's just do a regular, um, a regular shot. Yeah. This will hurt him a little bit. Now we have two tries to stun this guy with our caper jacks, so that's pretty good. Okay, so he's stunned, which is good. And now we can we can peck away at him with some of our other characters, actually. And then you can, uh, I guess you can just come up here. Take a shot. Two damage, yeah. Here we go. Sneak attack for two damage. Nice. Okay. Um. Uh, right. So he's at nineteen. Hmm. So now we can have Cynthia try to get the killing blow. There's a pretty good chance we will. Yeah. There we go. Put it down. Plus four eighty. Nice. Not more bridges, guys. I don't like bridges. Bad things happen to me on bridges. Okay, so what are we going to be facing on the opposite side? So there's one more bulwark at least, a seed, and then this twitcher. Um, 
The Twitcher is probably the most dangerous, especially given the bridge situation, because they have that knockback attack, and that knockback attack can really, uh, can really hurt you badly. Let's start with uh, Tina Varima moving up and see. Let's just see if we can pull this guy out, maybe. Um, move to here. Okay, so it looks like we have. That's probably the seed. So it's important here that I don't line up my guys if possible, so yeah, maybe to here. Because that way he can't get multiple hits on us and you know stun three or four of my guys every turn. Okay, here we go. That's the C. Okay, good. And this is the Twitcher. Let's see, does he see us? Ah, oh, perfect. So now hopefully we can alpha strike him this turn and just kill him in one uh, kill him in one go. Oh perfect. He's gonna give a ton of XP, so let's give that to our um, our Devo, I think, if possible. Nice. That should be like a level and a half on this thing. Tricky. It's tricky to rock a run to rock a run. That's right on time, it's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, so yeah, the Pound of Flesh is definitely getting up there. It's maybe like level 4 or 5 now. That was a big boost to it. Um, and now let's just wait another turn, and then we'll begin the cross. We might peck away at this seed too, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna, he's gonna come in, so let's go ahead and greet him. Okay. L let's try Mad B for a for, or second, I guess. Okay, and then finally, let's do a let's do a stun with um, with what's his face. Wow, there we go. It's funny when the stun does more damage than the other two attacks combined. Okay, uh, tricky. You'll probably miss, but just take a shot. There we go. Get some more XP on your uh, weapon. Looks good. And Verima, you can just hang out. I still can't quite see us. Uh oh. That was exactly what I was hoping to avoid. Oh, I didn't realize there was a second one up there. No. Okay. Well, let's see. What are what are our options? Let's go ahead and start with a start with a slashing attack with this guy. I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot he can do, but we can soften him up a bit. And actually, these guys might have put it down. Um, I could blind everyone, that's not terrible. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him this turn though. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Just smooth. So let's see, so we have uh, Tricky and Smooth are our new hunters. That's kind of exciting. Uh, yeah, you guys are, let's just hang out for a turn while these guys recover. Oh, so how's everyone doing today? Pretty well, I hope. Hope the week is going well. Uh-oh. One of these guys again. Let's see. Um, that's really unfortunate, actually. Oh, here, let me, let me do this. I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move my alchemist out first because I think he was blocking a movement point, a move over here. Yeah. So that's not bad. I could do a stun. I could do a stun onto this guy. That's not bad. So really, uh, really, what I'm worried about now is the Twitcher. Th this guy will do a little bit of damage to me, but the Twitcher could just like wreck me, basically. Actually, no. Let's do this instead. Let's move our hunter here. And let's try to do a, let's try to do the knockback shot. There we go. Probably should have shot him once regularly, but that'll that clears that um, softens them up and does not, you know, prevents them from attacking next turn. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, let's go for the seed. I can't go for the other guy. Yeah, let's go for the seed. I guess. 
Okay, and now this guy can... Oh, this is perfect. Because now Cynthia Madbeefer can run up here and do a stun on this other dude. Yeah. <laughs> Their whole team is stunned. Love it. And now, uh, let's see. Move up. Now we can move up our heavy guns and our, not, our really... Our broken-legged... Um, oh, she's just old. Never mind. Is she slow also? She's just slow. I was thinking it'd be funny in this game to actually get a character that has zero movement that can't move. There's another Twitcher, really? Uh oh. As well as the I also saw a cradle hanging out in here when I was moving, so I have to be careful of that. Okay, so let's start with a nice strike from uh, who can do the most damage. Oh, actually, you know what? That's pretty juicy. Uh, Let's move our um, our alchemist guy back for a turn. Uh oh, we activated that other guy. That's a bit of a bummer. And now let's go ahead and do a an explosive shot right on these guys. This sh probably won't kill them, but yeah, it's probably gonna miss actually. Oh, man, what's your problem, guy? Blind everyone? It's not a bad move actually. I'm not gonna be able to kill everything this turn. Let's try to blind everybody. Okay, so now they're all at least blinded, which is kind of nice. Uh, so they'll probably miss their attacks, probably. And... Oh, hey, that's interesting. So the blind does not trigger the bulwark shield. I thought it might. That's good to know, actually. So you guys have moved. So I have two caber jacks to attack with. So they're all blind. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can finish off the bulwark with uh, Butterworth, I think. He got a bloody fist. Nice. And now, um, let's just do some damage on the Twitcher with uh, Mad Reaper. Yeah. And then let's see if we can finish. Uh, we might be able to finish this guy off if we get super lucky. Yeah, didn't think so. So these will probably be glancing blows, hopefully. Yeah. Because they have a pretty, they have a 50% penalty, I think. So, yeah, these two are probably more dangerous than the ones that are standing right next to me, actually. Uh-oh. Another seed. Oh, luckily it's just a regular seed. That's good. Cool. Oh, that glancing blow. Okay. So, let's see what we have going for us here. So we probably, uh, it'd be really nice to be able to get a shot off with one of my hunters um, on those guys in the back. I just, I don't think they're, too, I think they're too far. Yeah, too far away. We could potentially blow up these other seeds, but I think that's unlikely. And then go in for like an attack up here. Let's instead, let's, let's start with just a nice uh, stun on these two guys just to see what, sort of where we're at. <laughs> Okay, so they're out for this turn. So now this guy is the, the main the main problem. And so at first I'm gonna move, let's see, how do I wanna shoot him? Let's try to shoot him with Varima, no, 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 no. Let's, um, let's move Varima up, yeah. We can take this shot, that's not bad. I would like to give Tricky, Tricky, um, yeah, let's do this. So let's have Varima shoot this guy. Nice job. And now let's have, um, and now let's have you let's sneak you away here. And now we can have DeVoe take out these two seeds, hopefully. I get way too excited about this. So those guys are out of it. Um, that was weird, actually left them there for a second. And now we can run our alchemist up. That's a pretty good move. And now here we can just get some regular damage off on this other cradle. And get healed up to full. Uh-oh. Cradle 2.0. Okay, uh, let's see. So here we need to focus on the Twitcher. I don't think... I think that my hunters are actually going to be out of range. I don't think they're going to they're be able to help. Let's see. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be able to help. Okay, Verima, why don't you take the first shot? 
Okay, that's not bad. And now actually, I think we can finish it off with our alchemist. This would be pretty good. Yeah, monster. Ooh, hey, a level two. Okay, so what did you get? Uh, honed hearing or throw items. Let's go honed hearing, actually. Jeffrey the Monster Summerfield. Okay, um... So I want, um... I want Tricky here to shoot... Nobody, because apparently he can't shoot these guys because he's out of range. That's too bad. Okay, never mind then. So we should have... We should have, uh, oh, you can't do it, that's too bad. Kill this one. So let's have uh, Bloody Fist try to kill this other one up here. He, he, he might get it. And if he takes a shot, that's fine. And now let's have uh, Cynthia try to kill this one. Respect my authority. Respect my authority. Hmm. No! Oh, okay, there's no damage. This other, this other guy is gonna be, he's gonna be annoying, but it's okay. <sighs> I always thought it'd be funny to get in a situation where like you, you keep stunning a cradle or something, and then the idea is you, you do it so much that you can, um, you can like level up the other characters off the seeds that they keep spawning. I think that's one of the reasons why the seeds are really low XP, actually. Because they don't want you to do that. Oh, nice hit. Good job, monster. And now, um... Yeah, let's try it. Oh, man, my hunters. Yeah, the seeds are really good against hunters. Simply because you, you miss most of your shots. Aww. That's it. That was a. So if you do a sneak attack with put it down and the sponge stone, you must get a crazy what? amount of XP. Well, now I don't want to. Oh please. Good job today. Huh? Yeah, we actually did a pretty good job of uh, getting our guys leveled up. Uh, the log jam's okay, but the sneak attack's pretty good. You know what, for the Mad View first, I'm going to give him the Log Jam. I'm going to try it out. I really, I liked it in the previous playthrough that I did. I'm just not sure if it's still good. Deadeye, um, or Crop Duster. Let's go Deadeye. Ooh. No! And then we lose one here. Yeah, that's okay. So we just need to make sure that our Summerfield keep doesn't fall. That's the that's the next key that we need to look out for. Okay, so Penelope Mad Beaver has come of age, and she's bare strength, so she's awesome. Uh, let's see. Lindsay, Lindsay uh, Summerfield is brainy, nearsighted, and sickly, so she's not the best. But not, you know, that's... The brainy is pretty good. The nearsighted is a little annoying. Harold Mad Beaver. His quick, a kingmaker. Oh, uh, he's got some pretty terrible stats, actually. Unfortunately, I think I have to marry him into this family. Harold Mad Beaver. The quick is pretty good. Kingmaker. Flincher unfocused aren't great. Um, but he's also rebel. Let's do that. Let's just put Harold in there. We need to get some more Butterworth babies. And then, uh, yeah, we need to get the other ma the Mad Beefers going here as well. Do we have that Butterworth uh, up yet? Brainy? You're too old. I know that there was a Butterworth that I was going to marry into the Mad Beefer family. I just don't know how old they were. So we only... Actually, let's do my family here. Oh no, we only have two Butterworths, and one of them is really old. That's not good. Uh, I think our... Hmm, hmm. Do we have any trainees? I think we have some... We have Lilith, right? Who's bare strength. So she's oh, she's 11 now. Okay. So let's see. What else do we have? Uh, 26. That's not bad. 
Oh no, Madonna Blood, partner of J.P. Summerfield, has died. Oh, that's pretty much expected. She was 90 or something stupid. Penelope? Hmm. What's Stefana? You're quite good, actually. Um. Actually, no. Let's marry in Christina. Christina's pretty good. Pretty, uh, the quick is good, and the Hawkeye is also quite good. The puny is terrible for a Caberjack family, so let's let's marry it in here, I think. Unless there's someone else that is... Cynthia's a little better, I think, but she's not quite as um, quick and dim-witted. That's not as good. Yeah, let's do, let's do Christina, actually, here. I like that plan. Uh, right. Continue onward. 50 years left, almost. A little bit over, I guess. Standard Maya Summerfield has died of natural causes. The royal court is prepared to execute the will of our fallen hero. Ah, so this is Scorn. Um, who is going to be our next awesome Summerfield character? Lindsay is sickly, but brainy, so they would do crazy damage. Uh, Hawkeye, that's okay. Asthmatic? Ugh. You're a little bit old, too. I think we want to do Lindsay. Let's do Lindsay. Hack and Slash. Extra Item. Fury. Let's go Extra Item. And uh, the Acid Solution. I think that's a better plan. Let's confirm you. Okay. And then our standard. Um... Shat and Nimble. You're not bad. Monica, Reckless Alert Rebel. Bear Strength and Slow. And you have the you have the relic that we're trying to level up, but you're gonna die soon. That's quite a bit of XP though. Pessimistic Nimble? No, no, no. Cynthia. Cynthia's good. I like Cynthia. The Wily's good. I don't know. Rebel. Flincher, Lone Wolf. Uh Tuned. You're actually good. So Cynthia would be about point. What is it? Point four. Let's do. Let's do Monica instead. She's only gonna live a few years anyway, so this is fine. She'll probably be dead before the next uh, thing, and that way I can get more experience on that relic. I want just a little bit more XP for my guys. And a baby. Sickly hawk-eyed little. Little baby. Little, uh, Balto? Balto Summerfield. Okay. Steady Hander. Yes. Designs have been finalized, measurements taken, and now the Steady Handers are ready to be equipped. Cool. Um, can't do any of that. Could do a Time Fist, I guess. The Dodge Stalking sound kind of cool, but I don't know, um... I don't know how much that is. Maybe it would be better to do dodge stockings. I don't know. I know that the the experience boost is actually quite strong too, especially because I don't have a lot of level 10 characters right now. I think I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to do the experience boost. How much? Let's see, actually let's see how much time is left is there though. 50 years. That'd be like two or three more missions with it. I think we have to, guys. I think we I think we're pretty under leveled actually because we've lost a lot of characters. So let's let's give it a try. Uh, let's do the experience boost. Yeah, they really made everything uh, take a lot longer this uh, this playthrough with this with the new patch. Uh, let's see here. Continue onward. Yeah, so we'll have 30 years, I guess. We'll have two or three more battles with the experience. Best Falkman has died. Okay. And DeVoe, you are super, super old. Uh, we don't have anyone to marry to you, unfortunately. Sorry, Arden. And there are no heroes in training anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's get that experience gain. Felton Butterworth, partner of Encravorina, has died. Okay. 
Okay, so we have to look for... I oh, can't use you. Lilith Butterworth is really good. Yeah, we're keeping you. Jotan is sickly and attuned. That's not very good. Uh, we can't marry you. Puny, clumsy, impressionable, pessimistic. Josh. Hmm. Raymond. Brainy with arthritis but nearsighted. They wouldn't like that. The Vremas are the ones that are kind of obsessed with genetics. And so I think the only one they would consider would be Lilith. But then... Uh, let's do this. Let's get Lilith in there. Uh, rebound? Let's make Lilith uh, aggressive. I think we have to go... I think we want to go... Let's go rebound, actually, and then uh, prime target. Let's marry Lilith in there, uh, even though this is only going to be a couple years, hopefully. Just, if we get one good baby out of that, that marriage, it's worth it, even though I think it's unlikely. Oh no, standard Monica DeVoe has died. Yeah, it's okay. We got that extra XP, though, and we didn't, uh, didn't pay for it, which is nice. Uh, bear Strength, Quick Study, Attuned, and Sluggish. Aaron is quick study, but with heart disease. Um, these guys are all pretty old, actually. I think, I think Ramona is going to have to be the new uh, regent. And I think, uh, do we have anyone that's nimble? Bountiful, hardy, sluggish. Ooh, gross. Aaron, heart disease, but quick. The quick isn't bad. I think, yeah, I think we give it to Aaron, actually. He's also got, he has the heart disease, so he'll die soon um, as well. Cynthia Madbeefer is nimble and wily and hawk-eyed. That's actually a pretty good combo. So she would be the one to get the relic, most likely. Izumi. Let's, uh, let's drop Izumi Summerfield in there, I think. Six, seven. The seven is actually pretty good. She's only 37, though. That's way, way too young. And he has terrible traits. And then Cynthia, we're trying to level up to get her a relic. The monster? He's not bad. And he's infertile, actually. And he's 50, so he's not going to last forever. It would. We need to level up that relic, though. Yeah, let's just do a zoomy. We get a little bit less XP, but it's okay. I think that'll be fine. I'm not super excited about it, but uh, what can you do? Josh Butterworth has died. No. Oh, Butterworth, you're so good. Kayla is puny. Slay be far, but you're not very useful. Lilith, you're currently married, but you're not going to be married for long. So we're going to give the idol to Lilith. Yeah, because the Verimas are going to... She's going to die soon. Amaranda Summerfield. Bear strength, infertile, clumsy. Oh, God. I'm getting some really terrible traits this game. 